nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the... Good morning, good morning, guys Have a look at this it is raining and let's see if I can show you I don't know if it will be able to pick it up but I am still in the dock uh, well we did go check in there just before 7 a couple of minutes before 7 a.m. was still a little bit darker than it is now and the guys were in there yeah well, almost got wet but uh, the guys were in there and they're unloading me right now so just figured I'd get my good morning in to you guys and uh, show you guys on what I see outside. <laughs> it's raining and it's been raining all night long. It started last night and it's just been raining all night. I woke up a couple of times throughout the night and I heard it raining. Yep. Anyways, I guess I better go do my logbook so that way we're ready to go. Well guys, as you can see, it is raining like crazy. And it's been raining all night already. <laughs> if it continues on like this, we will have flooding. Yeah, there's a lot of water in the yard here already. I was just staying in the yard here because, uh, well, didn't really have a reload just yet. And then, uh, got plenty of parking in here, so why not, right? Well, now we got a reload, which is like 2.2 miles away from here. It's 700 really feet. close to it. Business Parkway. Now the GPS decided to take me a different road. What the heck? <laughs> the way it showed me earlier is go there and then make another left. And then 2.2 uh, miles and I'm there, you know. Now it's telling me to go on the interstate. I don't want to do that. That's 5 miles and this is only 2.2. Why would I want to go 5 miles around, you know? <clears throat> but anyways we're gonna go pick up a reload and then uh, that will bring us back to Manitoba at least it's supposed to it's supposed to go to Edmonton that load but I'm supposed to bring it back to the yard in Steinbaum so let's go see if we can find this place See how fast we can get our load on. Get out of this rain up here, you know. The storm has been going on now, well, for a couple of days, I guess, already. That's what I've been hearing. So, we want to get out of here before things flood, right? That's the plan, anyways. Well, let's go pick up our load and see what we can do. Alrighty, guys, we just got loaded. Turn left on Ranger Line Road, L193. Yep, and it is still raining. It's been raining pretty heavily over the last little while. Yep, but that's the way it goes. We got our load on and uh, we're going to hightail out of here, so hopefully we can get out of this range here pretty soon. Yeah. Alright. This doesn't make any sense. Alright. I guess this way we got to go. No, oh, this, this looks a little... This looks a little weird. Yeah, the GPS is not 100% correct on this uh, the way this road goes down here. I guess they must have redone this road up here. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah. So, it's 1,655 miles to go. Might be able to make it home Wednesday, maybe. Just maybe. That's going to be depending on everything, you know. But oh, there's a smoky bear up there. All right. something though. Yeah, I'm not sure what 
he was looking at, but he was looking at something, that was for sure. Yeah, anyways, let's get out of this rain and uh, get into some weather where we can not get wet. I got soaking wet there when I had to pick up my load there, when I opened the doors and go to the shipping office, you know. My goodness, I was completely wet, you know. But, here we go. Let's get out of here. Well, guys, we've been cruising along here for about an hour now. Yeah, we are on US 45. And we are about to cross the border into... What is it? Anybody recognize anything? Nah. Not me. Mississippi. Mississippi. Crossing border. Entering Mississippi. There it is. Good morning. Oh, shut up. There it is. Welcome to the Mississippi. That's right. <laughs> and as you can maybe tell, the rain has slowed down tremendously. I didn't see no sign there saying slowing down, I needed to slow down, I don't know. GPS, sometimes it's got the speed wrong, so that's why you hear the speed warning, speed warning. Anyways, we're cruising along here and finally getting out of the rain, as I was going to say. I'm getting tired of all this rain, you know been rain steadily since yesterday and having to get wet there this morning to get my load man that that I didn't like one little bit yeah but also the highway is getting nicer it looks like now we got two lanes instead of just one lane each way so that's a big improvement higher speed limit We're able to cruise again Yep. Well, that's what the goal was, is getting out of this rain, and it's finally slowing down, so that's good. I'll be happy once I'm out of this rain. Not that I don't mind rain every once in a while, but not 24 hours a day, you know? <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, guys, we just had ourselves a little bit of a heat stop. Now it's time to get back on the road again. It had completely stopped raining when I stopped here, but as soon as I stopped, it had to get start drizzling again. Oh well. I guess we'll just try and go further north. Hopefully we get some sunshine eventually yet. Well, look at the fuel price over here, the gas price, $1.99.9. Wow, that is pretty cheap. That it definitely is. Yeah. Now let's see if we can get back on the highway. Lots of traffic coming right now. But eventually we'll get back on the highway, right? Yep, usually you will. Oh man. That guy passed me earlier. That's right. Yeah, I don't know how far we're going to get today, but... Uh, I can't really push too hard today because I won't have a whole lot of hours left for tomorrow either, so I might go another one or uh, maybe two or three hours, depending on how I feel and whatever I decide on, I guess. Because I only had like 15 and three quarter hours left for today or whatever for the rest of the week until uh, hours start coming back to me, you know. 
and in the United States uh, you have to wait one day longer than in Canada to get your hours back so it kind of sucks I already started getting hours back in Canada today so I will only start getting hours back tomorrow in the United States but the thing is last week Monday when I went out you guys remember I went to that uh, Pete Moss place and I was there pretty much all day so I only had an hour worth of driving and only a half an hour on duty time so I'll only get an hour and a half back for tomorrow so technically I'll only have like uh, well 17 and a quarter hours with today so whatever time I drive today I have to split that in two for today and tomorrow that has to be enough I can't do more than that. That's all right. At least for the day after that, I'll get 11 and a quarter hours worth of driving time. We'll see if that will be enough to get us home or not. We'll just have to wait and see how everything goes. Everything goes smoothly I might just might make it up to the border and if I can make it up to the border as soon as I cross that border I'll have more hours right that's right anyways let's get out of here let's put the hammer down and uh, see what happens well guys we are done for today that's how we'll look if you look out there <laughs> That windshield, windshield is still wet. It's still raining. We had a little bit break, a break in between where it wasn't raining, but then it went right back to rain. Rain and more rain and more rain and more rain and more rain. Yeah, anyways, I'm really hoping by tomorrow we will finally be in the clear. That's what I'm really hoping for not get any rain at all tomorrow I'm hoping for anyways <laughs> don't know if that's gonna happen but we are in uh, friendship Tennessee friendship Tennessee I would think that's what you would call that <clears throat> yeah that's where we are right now and we are finito for today yeah I was going to go up to I-55 up there a little bit further down the road. Probably another half an hour, 45 minutes. But yeah, I so saw this little truck stop here. And I said, yeah, I'm just going to go pull her in here. Because uh, I was a little afraid that I may not get a parking spot over there, you know. And uh, that kind of sucks when you really want to stop and there's no parking left. Oh, man, that sucks. It really does because <clears throat> then you got to go continue on and try and find the next truck stop and see if you can find parking in there or whatever or the rest area you know but anyways we are finito for today finished yep all that we got left to do is render this video put it up on YouTube well I don't think we can upload it to YouTube because uh, Looks like my uh, Sprint system has only got like one bar of 3G internet up here. So I don't think that that's going to go too well with uploading anything. So anyways, we are out of here. We'll see you again or you will see me again tomorrow. I am uh, usually up, scheduled up for 2 a.m. as long as I have a video. Generally, it's scheduled for 2 a.m. Central Standard Time. Yeah. <clears throat> and then uh, I guess you can uh, watch it throughout today. And throughout the day, you know. And uh, if you guys like today's vlog, be sure to rate it up. Give it a good thumbs up. Hey, and if you didn't like it, well, heck, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. <laughs> as long as you watch the video, I don't care if you give it a thumb. Well, I prefer to get a thumbs up. But if you give me a thumbs down, yeah, that's okay, whatever. At least I know you still watched it. And if you have anything that you would like to say or you'd like to say something about my video today, hey, there's a comment section down there below where you can leave a comment. And I do read all my comments. I really do. Honestly do. Oh, yeah. <clears throat>
and if you have any questions for me hey also leave them down there in the comment section below and I will try and get back to you I generally do answer my uh, comments that I get I'm not famous where I can't co continuously keep up with all of my uh, comments so I generally don't get that many only like four five six seven maybe sometimes a little more than that but in generally I'd only get like four or five of them so I should be able to keep up with that right <laughs> unless you all start sudden start flooding me with comments then it would be kind of hard but but yeah generally I can uh, I can get back to you no problem hey and if you want to keep it personal there's an email in my description box yeah if you go all the way to the bottom I left my email address in there and uh, you can get a hold of me like that and we can discuss things privately yeah oh yeah anyways that's pretty much all I got for today so we'll see you again or you will see me again yep until next time have a good one behind me that day is gonna come